Okay, this is the second video looking over your National Four Numeracy preparation the clip. Again, if you've tried the questions and want to look over your solutions, or if you're completely stuck, have a little look at this, and then hopefully that should help you. So, looking at this question, it talks about an empty rucksack which weighs 1,500 grams. When we put two and identical is the important word there, means we're going to have two things that weigh the same, two identical sleeping bags in it. The total weight is 3,700 grams. So the question here, most importantly, is what is the weight of one sleeping bag? So taking a look at the question, we know what the rucksack weighs. The rucksack weighs 1,500 grams. And we know that the rucksack plus the two sleeping bags weighs 3,700 grams. So we're going to work out the weight of one sleeping bag. So to start off with, if we take our total weight of 3,700 and take away the weight of the empty rucksack of 1,500, that tells us that the two sleeping bags together are going to weigh 2,200 grams. Again, don't run the risk of making arithmetic mistakes with this when you have access to a calculator. At the very least, if you're going to do it without a calculator, take a minute at the end to check your numbers. So, 2,200 is the weight of two sleeping bags. So if I want to find the weight of one sleeping bag, I'm going to take my 2,200 pounds, uh, 2,200 grams, and I'm going to divide that by two to give me a weight for my one sleeping bag of 1,100 grams. And again, please remember the units. I don't want you to lose any marks on the assessment at all, but least of all for something like this. Okay, let's look at a couple more of these because there's a few in the booklet. So, similar kind of idea. Uh, in this question, we've got an empty box that has a weight of 3,000, uh, sorry, 350 grams. When 15 cans of juice are put into it, the total weight is 4,800 and 50 grams. So what is the weight of a can of juice? Okay, so our total weight, 4,850 grams. If I take away the weight of the empty box, taking away that 350 grams, that is going to leave me with 4,500 grams. Okay, we know 4,500 is the weight of the whole thing without this empty box, and we know that there are 15 cans. If they're identical, which we have to assume from the question they are, we have 4,500, and we then want to take our calculator and we want to divide that by the 15 cans of juice. And then I'll give you a little second to pop that in your calculators and make sure that you get the same answer as I do. You should have ended up with a weight for a single can of juice of 300 grams. And that seems quite reasonable. So let's look at just one final example of this type of question. So same kind of idea, we have this time an empty bag that weighs 400 grams. Six footballs are put into it, giving a total weight of 3,070 grams. So we're going to try and find the weight of one football. So let's take our 3,070 
grams and we're going to take away Take a second in the background to do that with your calculator. 3070 take away 400 will give you 2,600 and 17. Okay, so that's the weight of six footballs. So let's take that two, six, seven, zero and divide that by the six footballs. I get the feeling this is going to come up with a, a not very round number, which is good because we can then look at uh, rounding. But actually it didn't. It gave us 445 grams for each football. And that's those three questions all done for you. Now again, you can go back through this, maybe leave it, leave it a little while, try the questions yourself, make sure that you've recalled it, but you can always look back at the video for uh, revision or any help later on.